In tonight's Eye on Earth, blowing the science scene wide open. A Gloucester-based nonprofit is using drones to learn some incredible things about whales. Tonight, WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff gives us a closer look. Ian Kerr is on the hunt for the largest mammals on the planet. He's head of Ocean Alliance, where they're taking whale conservation Three, two, one. to new heights using drones. We can look at the animal's behavior. We can measure how big they are. We can collect their exhalation. So one affordable tool is doing many jobs now. Kerr and his team have been working with drones since 2013. Recently, they began collecting exhaled breath condensation, AKA whale snot. It's a biological jackpot with DNA, microbiomes, and hormones. Data that, until a few years ago, would be nearly impossible to collect from a live whale. If you get up in the air, suddenly you can see how they're interacting, how they're feeding, how they're playing. I have seen more unique behaviors from a drone in the last five years than I've seen in the, in the previous 25. In fact, just a few months ago, for the first time ever, their Snotbot drone dropped a video data tag on the back of a whale. Unbelievable. I mean, journeying on the back of a whale as it's feeding, listening to the sounds, I mean, oh my gosh. We're really journeying into the abyss with the whales, understanding how they live their lives. Is the research you're doing inherently harder because you have to be in the water and under the water in some cases? We look out over here, we have no idea what's going on underwater right now. And that's what's so great about some of the work that we're doing. I think it's quite innovative and we're really getting better insights into the underwater lives of whales. Whales and other marine mammals are facing human threats almost daily through pollution, ship strikes, and entanglements. Why are efforts like Ocean Alliance so important? And we like to say healthy whales, healthy oceans, healthy humans. I'm in this because I'm fascinated by and I love whales, but at the end of the day, humanity needs to care about our oceans. It, it, you know, the blood that flows through this planet is blue. You know, it's one of the most important sort of ecosystems on the planet. Dr. Kerr says the Snotbot drone has collected samples from nine of the over 80 species of whales and now add video tagging along to that. He hopes that with the relatively low cost of entry for drones and other data taggers that more and more countries start doing more research. In Gloucester, I'm Jacob Wyckoff, WBC News. Very